Hey, what up, y'all? Don't mind me, just got a flower growing out in my head. <laughs> yeah, I always talk about the importance of the heart versus the head. Listen, it's not always verses, okay? They're not always battling. Sometimes they are just feeding each other, and they are in balance, and it is perfect harmony. I'm going to show you the differences, though. Listen, the heart and the head, they are different. They are important. They should be in balance, okay? There's certain things that this guy does, and this one does, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. It's the same as uh, masculine and feminine. It's the same thing, okay? The masculine does what he's got to do. The masculine cannot bear children. Do you get what I'm saying? So everything has its purpose, its place, its balance and harmony. I say that to say this. I am currently studying. I do a lot of energy work and uh, studying of such things, for example. Check this out, right? This is a book on Qigong. A lot of Qigong exercises, they're very relaxed. They're breathing heavy. They're, or not breathing heavy, but they're heavy on breath work, I should say. And I can read it all day. I can read what they're saying. I can understand my, this guy, he gets it. This guy knows. This guy's a Qigong master because I've read so much shit that I can explain to you what it is that you need to do. You need the words. You need the understanding. I got you right here, right now with this guy. Okay. I've read it. I've recalled it. I understand it. It's in here. I got you. But real talk, all of this stuff, what it does is it balances out the energy in your own system. You do it consistently, you can balance out the energy in others' systems. And you can become a healer for those who are in need of balance. That's my goal. That's the magic that I'm looking for. It's all just energy work. We're all energy. Everything is energy. So you fix that. You fix all the physical mismanifestations that may be occurring in your health, in your life, or whatever. But yo, this guy gets it. But yo, these are meditations. Which means meditations are not to be thought about. They are to be practiced. They are to be done. They're right here. So as much as this guy knows all of this stuff, yo, this dude right here, he's a healer because he knows all this shit already. But it only comes with practice. So it's up to this guy. You see, I can read how to use your intention to make your energy flow from your midsection with conscious breathing and intention and get it to flow upward. And what you're supposed to do is have a, 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 a microcosmic orbit of your energy flowing around you, going all the way down to your coccyx, all the way up to your crown and just your, your microcosm orbit of this stuff. And this is only the micro because it doesn't include the legs, which is the whole macro. So this microcosm orbit, and it begins right here. So first you get your energy to flow. Imagine it flowing like a ball to the front of your navel, to the back of your back. To the front, you know, you get this, this ball of energy flowing. And then you get it from there, and you, you continue the practice, and then you get it to your torso, and then you continue the practice, and you get it to the whole thing, and then you include the legs, and blah, 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 blah. Okay, you see how my head can put this together so wonderfully? Forgive the uh, super summary of it all, but the head knows. But the body only knows through practice. The body only knows through experience. I mean, the heart. The heart is very heavily connected with the body. So, the heart is in charge of doing and practice. The mind is in charge of knowing. And he can recall it. He can... Uh, speak it he knows he's got the nuts and bolts of everything but this is the doing and the being or should i say this is the the really this is this is doing it right here and this guy I don't got a lot of qigong practice i mean i got the regular practice that i do but for this that i'm studying this guy ain't studying this guy's been studying this guy needs to study more for this and, yo, this is the essential differences, man. It's just like, you know, there's a lot of people out there that will read all these books and then they don't apply the method. You know, they're still judging people. They're still... Their mind knows we are all one. 
but their heart's like, ugh, except for this asshole. Or, you know what I mean? Their heart is holding on to maybe a grudge. Like I said, maybe a judgment. Maybe even some self, uh, self-harm, self trauma that you have in here that you're still holding on to. And is really just leaving your whole view askew of everything that is. Well, really, everything that is is wisdom and everything is a teacher. But what really got to happen is you have to practice that. You can't just know it. You have to practice it. You have to live it. You have to heart that shit out, man. You can't just head it all day, you know? Some people are hard-headed. Where this thing is full, but this thing is empty. And realize that it's a balance. Because even to know this, even to practice this, I can't just practice these these cycling of energy and these breath work unless I know what the fuck it is I'm supposed to be practicing. You get what I'm saying? I have to know. I have to read it. This is, this is how I work, personally. I've got to read it. Then I've got to write it so I can feel it. Then after I've written it, I have to read it again to myself. And then I have to do it. Because by that point, I've gotten enough of it in here that I can get it in here. I, I am a complex motherfucker, man. Maybe we all work that way. Maybe only a few others work that way. Maybe I'm the only one. Who knows? Not me. But here in lies the importance in why I always speak the difference between head and heart shit, man. Because, yo, I could speak to people about this Qigong shit. You know, I know cats that do Reiki. I know cats very interested in the spiritual realities of energy and energy healing. And I could speak to these people. But all they can do is speak back. And I don't want to hear these words. I've already read these words. I don't care much for these words. I want to know your experience. I want to know what you felt when you've done this. Oh, but you've never done it. I want to know what's in here. I want to be able to fill this and share with others. Others who have filled this. I don't want my spirit to simply be translated into someone else's words that they'll just hold up here and keep with them. Maybe repeat to others. Oh, you know what? I know exactly how to do that. It's like this. Oh, yeah. Have you ever done it? This guy's empty. Empty all day. He's important. I try to fill him very much. This guy's too filled. You know, I spent my whole life filling this guy. Thinking that when he's filled, that some of it will overspill into here. Like, oh, no, I know exactly how to do that. I can write essays about it. I can explain over the phone step-by-step -step instructions. But when you're in front of it and you got to do it, you're stumbling. You don't know. You may even forget because of the forcing yourself to be present in the moment and do something. To be present. Without having to be up here to go back for instructions. But to be to take this in the present moment. That's heart and head combined beautifully. That is what it's about. That's my goal. So I don't want to OD on the heart shit. I want to be balanced perfectly. So that way I can function in this crazy world, man. This crazy world eats up hearts. So I got I to gotta function here. So I got to get this guy like a... I got to get this guy to be the champ that I know he is. But bring this guy along with him so they can be in harmony. I can't OD and just have this guy wilding out when I don't know what's going on, you know? So just remember, keep that harmony, keep that balance, no matter what, yo. Do what you learn. Because if you learn without doing, it's really just hearsay. And it may be factual, but to you, it's hearsay. It's only truth to the ones who lived it. To you, it's secondhand truth. That's just not good enough for us. You know? All right, y'all. Stay in your heart. Keep your head with you, though. I love y'all.